gentlemen. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Reality TV from VIP. I'm sitting here with my brother, Mr. Brian C. What's going on? I am Mr. Lee West. We do this each and every Thursday night. Strongon.com, Reality TV. What up, brother? What up? I Luke? missed you, man. It's good to have you back. Uh, he, he's uh, he he had two different uh, Thursdays. He had something to do, so that's all right, man. We missed you, but uh, we held it down last week. We had uh, um, Nicole Monaco. Shout out to her for um, holding it down in the passing seat, and we had on Jerry G from um, the Wednesday nights, um, same time slot Wednesday night right here on StrongOn.com. Jerry G, he's just a straight up funny dude. He's not even like he's not a comedian or anything. He just sits there and be funny all day. Oh yeah, like, it makes us look bad, right? Yeah, it kind of <laughs> does because like he's kind of funny and, and I'm, we're not. I'm supposed to be funny <laughs> I'm just, it doesn't work as planned so much yeah, i know and then you know we're awkward <laughs> <laughs> every comedian they always say is like the most socially awkward person there is and they're, they're generally not really the funniest people they're that's just why like um I'm, I'm funny in real life and i'm i'm opposite of socially awkward so I think that's why my comedy's not so good. Yeah, I, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> now you have good comedy. Don't worry. You and your cowboy boots yes. always make me laugh. Yeah, my boots. And out. then you do stand up. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say material. But uh, oh 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 oh. So shout outs to um, the liquor store on Sunrise by um, Seven Eleven that Isle we can't think of the name of. Islip Terrace. Islip Terrace, and uh, uh, you can find them on Instagram now. White Ford, though, the kid at the at the counter. Appreciate Cheers. you, man. Cheers. Cheers to you. Very nice Word. guy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, um, apologize. I've been out. We did that. All right. Well, oh, so tell me how the Billy Joel show was. Billy Joel was awesome. He saw Billy Joel do the last show ever at the Nassau Coliseum. No, uh, I didn't. That was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> do a, you that even was facts was right? No. no. That was like weeks ago. I I saw Billy oh, Joel. Oh, that's what he said. No, I saw him at the Garden. He did close out the Coliseum, but that was like a month ago, yeah. a month or two ago. So where'd you see Billy Joel? You just like you just chased Billy Joel all over? No, he performs at the Garden once a month, Madison right. Square Garden. He has, he. Um. I think he just broke the record for the most sold out consecutive shows. Consecutively sold out. I think it was out. like sixty or something. Wow. This is his twentieth in a row in this set that he was doing. And, he, and, he, and he's booked, sold out throughout December. That's what what happens when you come from Strong Island. You just come up and you're killing it. Man, he, it's it. crazy. He hasn't made uh, an album in 22 years. He hasn't no recorded. Shit. He hasn't been on the charts in 22 years because he was it hasn't been in the studio 22 years, and he still sells out. Coasting, coasting off our old jokes, yeah, old material, old material, old material. I wish I could do that. People boo me, and they're like, "Oh, we <laughs> heard this joke." <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about the deaf child area sign? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they just conjugate that inside joke. If you know my stand up, you'd get it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because he belongs here. Because I belong there. Oh, I'm all tangled up in the wires. Yeah, we're going wireless. We gotta go wireless, wireless. Um, I'm I'm not talking about the itinerary out loud. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I will look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, <laughs> about like three weeks ago, he's just like, "Well, it's eight oh five. We are doing this now. Um, it's eight ten. We're gonna do this." And like, <laughs> all right, now you give him a play by play. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. But the funny. week before that, the week I'll continue talking about myself. This is my recap. This is my. We'll go into Brian's life. Stuff that happens. Eight oh five. That's <laughs> what. That's what we're doing. Life. Real life story. But yeah. before that, I uh, I went to Ocean Beach. Oh, nice. Oh, oh you yeah, park. Yeah. That was, you know, fun. That always, was a good always time. Always turn up time on Fire Island. Always turn up time. That was a good time. It was, you know... Yeah, if you don't go to Fire Island once in the you summer... Yeah, least, you're missing out, man. Yeah, you're not a long I haven't Island made it yet. I haven't made it yet. Dude, you're a loser. I know. I gotta go. I was gonna go when you went, but I, I, I couldn't get off work. You could get off work and stuff. Well, I have vacation time. Look at me go. Woo, woo. Yeah. Moreland hoes. Yeah, bacon on the Moreland prowl. hose. Bacon Shout out. Shout outs. If you guys need hoses, hydraulic, air, fuel, oil, or brake, I, I can make them. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny that, like, you know, I do trannies and you do hoes. Yeah, I know. Together, <laughs> it's just a massive orgy. We do hoes and trannies. Just like... <laughs> And then and then he also works on transmissions. Yeah. So <laughs> <you know. laughs> 
I fix cars, you know. <laughs> he fixes cars and fucks chicks with dicks. Oh man, work's been tough, man. Work's uh driving me a little nuts lately. And uh you know, we we had a um a recent takeover in in the management um end of things. And um you know, I just uh, I try to help as much as I can because I know the business a little better than somebody that's just coming in off the street from the corporate world. Yes. So, but I don't know, some people don't like um to take advice or whatever you know so when you can't you can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it true. makes things frustrating it did just for the viewers that are watching right now um we do have a guest coming on a little later oh Patrick yeah with donahue yeah i was from, uh, that's what that's where i fucked up on the it pro from project nine line president yes. of project nine line and he's the, he's the co-president he's the uh, vice president co-president co <laughs> <laughs> he's the co-host vice I'm president the, i'm the vice president but i'm not important and as you know it's i'm not a veteran I'm not, I'm not i didn't risk my life for this country like patrick donahue did um so he was going to be here a little bit later talking about uh, his organization, our organization, but mostly his because he's he's the man. Um, but yeah, you, you're looking forward to that later. That'll be yes. a you know, few. Um, continue telling about your story. I oh, apologize. No, no, you you were right though. You were right. And um, no, but so it's just you know I'm just bitching about work. I mean this is just like it's real life story time, and I want to complain about work. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're like the typical girlfriend who comes home at five o'clock, and you're just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's me. Yep. <laughs> just make me a Salisbury steak and g <laughs> and grab me a beer. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> That's exactly what goes on. Just all I got. My boss. Oh said, and you know, Mike said. And you know, what Joe said. And you know, Pete said. And you know, what Pete said. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and you know, know what I told Pete. Me. You know, and because like I, I was having this. I had this one car. I had like completely apart, and like uh, I put it all back together. And like this is after like me and me and um, the new boss just had like a disagreement about how, uh, you know a certain transaction or whatever. And then like he's just he's standing there and he's watching me work. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so he goes, I'm learning from the best, right? I go, apparently you're not because you don't listen. <laughs> yeah? Judging from what I seen yesterday, it doesn't seem like anything's sticking. That's what I said. And you're like, he just. I picture like when away. you always tell me about your boss, I always picture like this, this, uh, like ego. Like, have you ever seen horrible bosses? Uh, no, I yeah. said not. Nah, nah, I'm aware. I know what you're talking about. And the, this younger. Younger, bo the boss's son, I think, takes over, and he's just like a prick, and everybody hates him. And like, I just picture this young guy with like slick back Some hair, slick trying hair. To yeah, yeah, trying to like yeah. a typical cartoon character, just right. And then you pop up, and you're another cartoon. I character. am a cartoon <laughs> character. I'm still looking for somebody to make a character of a, because I in, instead of getting new headshots like every two years, I just want to make a cartoon of me, and that's what I want to put on my business cards. You're like a biker version of Yosemite Sam. <laughs> 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 them rootin', tootin', yeah. rootin', tootin'. <laughs> Let me fix these trannies. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny. <laughs> Let me do these trannies. <laughs> uh, Armits. And <laughs> no, like, uh, but, uh, uh, I do the best trannies east of the Mississippi. You know, I don't know. <laughs> something about east of the Mississippi. East of the Mississippi. Do you, have you ever seen the Mississippi River? I drove over it. You drove over. Wow, good yeah. for you. At least you have validity behind that, yeah, that statement. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, was <laughs> I knew I, was, I had to go far, right? I went to Iowa for family court and trying to get my daughter. And I uh, I was like, fuck, the Mississippi? Like, I'm far from home. Man. Yeah, that's, you know, that's like really out there. That was, that, was, that, was, that was a long time ago. But I feel like I wouldn't know what to do Stephanie if I saw the Mississippi River. And, like, I'm just like, where, where? Like, if I just got lost one day and there's the Mississippi River, I'd, like, panic. Just I'd go ahead and east. <laughs> I know. Well, you got to head north. From the Mississippi, it goes up and down through the whole country. No, it doesn't go, it doesn't go all the way to Canada, does it? I now, don't. now this is a stupid well, part of the show. Well, no, I-80. I-80, yeah. It does? It does start at the Great Lakes. It starts at the Great Lakes. Wow, right. I'm stupid. Are you smarter than a comedian? No. <laughs> <laughs> it starts at the Great Lakes. Shout out to Patrick Donahue with dropping knowledge uh, on I guess your I'm, I'm just so stupid. The entire country is separated by a river. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning stuff. This is like social studies. This is like Sosta. Lee we uh, Lee West 101. I know history. I know a lot of history. And you, you learn from the old people's mistakes. Um, well, idealistically. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's going on in the news? Do we have any... Uh, um, Trump is taking news? over the polls. It, I, awesome. How can he not? Look, Trump is just... This guy right here. And, and that's the Trump. Yeah, you can see that. Well, yeah. 
We have we have literature. Did you see Jason Scoop's arm? No. Jason Scoop tattooed on his arm, on his forearm, Trump 2016. Not for real, though. For real. For real. Ink, you know, ink everything. It's solid on his arm forever. Trump 2016. He's a comedian we know. It's going to be irrelevant in a few years. Uh, if he if he loses, it's definitely going to be irrelevant. <laughs> Regardless. Oh, it's all 2016. Shout out Jason Scoop, man. Jason he's awesome. Scoop, one he's of the funniest hilarious. guys. He's well, he's probably one of the only Long Island comedians that you'll see on TV. That, yeah, that you'll yeah you'll see him out there. Like and uh, like I used to perform with him at these uh, shitty ass bars. You know the den. I remember. He came everything. to the pool hall a bunch of times. Came to the pool hall, and now like every now and then when there's like um MTV like code or something. What is it? Guy code, girl yeah, code, yeah. or like all yeah, those he pops things. up in there. You'll just see him talking about stuff. And I want to get in on that. I think I'd have fun in there. That'd be fun. That would be fun. And they're all comedians. Do you know that? Oh no, I, I I know the one dude from. Them. Oh, check this right. So um. I'm drawing a blank on a kid's name. It wouldn't be reality TV if I wasn't fucking somebody's name up. And uh, my my boy White Bread, though, shout out to Brett Foster. Uh, we had him on a show at the 206 Lounge. Uh, shout out to Roger Sky for putting that one together. And uh, he's got and Brett Foster. You know who he is from Jersey? Brett H- Foster. Hilarious. Seven feet tall, string bean, ginger like a motherfucker. I call him uh I call him White Bread, uh, Bread Foster. I call him White Bread, and then I go, "Remember the wonder, you know?" Because it's like I don't know. He just looks like he's just tall, skinny, bread, white, whatever. <laughs> and uh, so we're doing this show at the two hundred six, and and he comes up to me and he's like, "Yo, yo, my my boy right here, uh, can he do a set? He's from Geico." From Geico, that's how I'm like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what insurance do company he has, bro. I'm like, "It's your boy. You you vouch for me, funny? Yeah, he good, he good. Put him on." Da, 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 da. He's the dude from Guy Code. I heard Geico. Oh. You know, like, oh, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, let him put him on. Guy, I don't care. He's funny. You vouch for him. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, all right. Because you got to be made quiet. You know, you got to, yo, yeah, it's my boy. It's my boy from Geico. You want to put him on the show? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 of course, bro. I got you. You know, like, meanwhile, like, I, uh, we got um the, the guy, you know, that you see on the TV. I don't know. Could I put on my friend from Liberty Mutual? Like, you need like somebody like, like a good neighbor. Boom, comedian right there. You know, like. <laughs> Man, <is> it <laughs> <laughs> what time? Oh, are can you? I can I can I can I put on my buddy who works at Leslie's Pool Supply? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't I don't care <laughs> what he has for insurance. Like, but yeah, this Trump guy is gonna kill it. I think. Yeah, He's we're looking forward to that. I, I, w- I want to see what happens. He's beating everybody, like, tremendously. Like, he's in, like, the 20%, and everybody else is, like, single digits. That's good. I mean, you know, you know, the, he's you the only one the talking it like it is, though. On the Democratic side, they're all, they're all scattering. They they don't know what the hell they're doing. I don't know if you're paying no, attention. No, I'm, I'm always f- confused on the Democrats and the Republicans. Okay. Who wants to take the guns away? Um, The Democrats. Yes. All right. So, go on. Um... <laughs> So now there's all these scandals with like Hillary Clinton, because Hillary Clinton was like the number one for Democratic. So like it, it basically what happens, Lee. Let me educate you a little bit, please. There, uh, there's a nominee that gets picked from both the Republican, which is also known right. as the GOP, the Electoral um, um, College. No, no, not not <laughs> he, like he just gets picked as the nominee. To mm-hmm. run, like to be their front runner. <laughs> okay, the spokesperson. The fr- yeah, for the Republicans or for the Democrats, and those two are like the two main people that go at it. And right. like you know, at the very end, those are the two that are on the ballots and everything. So right now, Trump is leading, uh, right in front of Jeb Bush, um, and then on the Democratic side, who's Jeb is Bush? Is this Jeb Bush? Jeb Bush is uh, is that Jeb Bush? No, that, no, that's, yeah, that's, that's Jimmy that's Fallon. Uh. <laughs> 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 this is Jeb Bush. <laughs> I could be like, that could be Putin, and like, <laughs> oh, is this guy gonna lead our country? <laughs> oh, this guy, it's a book. <laughs> it's Jimmy Fallon. You're a comedian. You don't know Jimmy nah, Fallon. I the Tonight Show. It says Jimmy Fallon <laughs> right on the. <laughs> That's why I didn't show them. I was making it. Oh, fucked man. it up. But yeah, uh, fucking uh, Hillary has all these email scandals. That's I the heard big something thing. About that. yeah. That's the big thing behind her, and it's holding her back. Because apparently she had a personal email mm-hmm. that <coughs> she was talking about, like, all stuff on, like, about Benghazi and all this other stuff. And uh, it might have led to people getting hurt. Oh, shit. So that's why everyone's like, oh, no. So now the vice president, the current vice president, Joe Biden, might run. For president. For president. 
Yeah. And Not Hillary. Uh, they're both going to run. Okay. I mean, Hillary's running, but who can be the Democratic person? Right. They, the right. nominee. Right. right. What about these nuts? These nuts. Oh, <laughs> did you <laughs> see that? Nuts. That was hysterical. I heard these, these nuts, nuts are doing well. Somebody <laughs> ran. Did you hear about that? Somebody somebody put in uh, that they were running and they put D's nuts as their name. A fifteen year old kid and they got like what nine percent <laughs> of the vote. Nine percent of the vote. We need they came in show. number three. Trump was number one, I think Jeb Bush was two, and D's nuts is number three. <laughs> so the top two people take it seriously <laughs> and everybody else was like, Yeah, that one. D's nuts. D E E. Do you still gotta nuts. go out to vote or can you do it from your computer? Oh, you go you go out to your like elementary schools and you stuff. You still gotta you know, do that, yeah. right? Yeah, because the uh, from your computer that's gonna be hacked, you know. Well, it's that's gonna be like that website, Ashley Madison. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> Did you, you fuck with that? that? You fuck with that? No, I don't fuck with that. Yeah. I'm not married. Oh, so you got no need to fuck with it. No, th- I love their slogan though. If you see Ashley Madison the slogan. Right. It says life short, have an affair. <laughs> <laughs> That's their slogan. It's Hose. ridiculous. Hose. And now you're seeing all these people, like these hackers, are telling all these people, like, because you could have a fake um, alias. You could have a fake name and everything, but you pay for the site with your right. credit card. Right. And your credit card has your name on it. Right. So now they're releasing all the credit card information. Yeah, the credit card Everybody's names. names are coming uh, out. And it's, it's hysterical. Meanwhile, you find a husband and a wife, they be chatting to each other with the fake names, not even knowing then they, who they is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. But yeah, that's going on. Uh, but did you see? Oh man, another thing in the news. I've been I watch the news all the time. I know I that's why I asked you about the news. Um, <laughs> did you see about that reporter? Oh, terrible tragedy! Terrible tragedy. I was that was uh, there was a disgruntled employee in in, in Virginia who uh, went back to work and bust, just busted shots out, killed the um, reporter, the cameraman, and the person they were interviewing. No, the person they were interviewing uh, is uh, in they stable lived, right? conditions. Yeah, but I'm saying they all condition. took they all took hits, and and you know, unfortunately, the man and the woman they passed away. And um, let's have it. Let's have a brief moment of silence for them. I, I could do that. Word. Yeah, it, it was nuts. Did, did you watch the videos? No, no. I just I've been li- I've been listening to it on the radio. They've been uh, following it pretty heavy on the radio. They uh, the the guy came and he made sure they were on air as he shot and killed them, and then like a few minutes later, a video uploaded on that the killer's Facebook of him recording himself killing them. And you look at the video, and the gun comes out. I saw that. It's like I, a first I didn't. I didn't realize that was hit. Th- I thought that was a zoomed in security no, camera. He recorded it. That was him. And it was like a first person shooter. Wow. It was like a video game. Right. It was insane. I've never seen. That was. It was just like. And wow. The, that's what it was. He recorded himself killing them. And you see him like you see the gun out, and then he realizes the camera was focused in the distance. It wasn't focused at them. So he puts the gun down, and you see the cameraman look back at the interview, and then he pulls the gun, and he shoots them. Because he wanted to be on a camera. He wanted to be on live TV. I mean, I like getting on live TV, but I mean, you don't need to go to those extremes. And then the cops, there was a huge manhunt. Huge manhunt. They finally... And he shot himself, right? Killed himself. Yeah. That's one sick, twisted fuck. Because you mad about your job? Yo, go quit, son. Like, <laughs> go work somewhere else where you feel appreciated or whatever your big issue is. You know, man, damn. It's insane. It's really... But uh, m- much love with the victim's family and shit. Let's bring it back up. Let's uh, let's um, get back on a happier vibe. What else? What else you got? What's Jared doing? He's going to jail or what? Oh, Jared, the pedophile? Yeah, we talked yeah. about that uh, last week. Oh, man. Yeah, the <laughs> did you see the New Wait, York we got Post? Some, we got some... Uh, we got some what? Feedback? Uh, what are the people yeah. saying? What are people saying, Mr. Lee? Mr. Lee West. Sorry, sorry, Aaron. Seven six four. How's this? Do I sound better now? Does this does this make me sound better? He might be right. I Where's know. Pat Donahue? Pat Donahue, we're coming on <laughs> <laughs> in about ten minutes. Eight thirty. Our eight, guest comes 830, on. Eight thirty. We'll have eight thirty. That's we, gotta we gotta have an itinerary. Uh, gotta stick. Follow to the the Just stick around ten more minutes, Mister. Who is this? I'm gonna Aaron. Uh, you eight, see Pat nine, Donahue nine, right now in the corner. He's cracking up, hysterical. <laughs> A- Anon eight nine zero three, anonymous. Oh, ah. An- 
<laughs> they didn't make a they didn't make a username in the um. They didn't make a, a username because the they wanted to <laughs> remain anonymous. To anonymous <laughs> is all right. That's cool. I guess we're boring everybody else. We are. So let's um. Shout out the sponsors. Shout out the sponsors. We'll do the pick of the week, and then we'll have on our um our much uh, anticipated guest. Then, then, then you know you got to get the people what they want. All right. Oh wait, hold it away from my face. How's that? I think that's better. All right. Um. So. Got to give my shout out to the day job. I bitch about it, but I love it all day. So you'll check out your light on. Come see me. I'll check it out for free. Tranny Man Transmissions, 1052 West Jericho, Turnbrook, Smithtown. Don't call any man. Call Tranny Man. I'll let you know if uh, that check engine light you got to address right away. Or you could put it off a couple days till you get your bread up. Whatever. Just come let me check it out. Make sure you're safe out there traveling. Go get your check engine light. <laughs> your varmints. <laughs> <laughs> get it checked. I'll check it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> I do trannies. Ow. Uh, shout out to Sprato, Sprato's Auto Body. You know what they say, man. It's your right as a consumer to take your vehicle to any registered motor vehicle repair shop if you're choosing. As long as they got the green registered motor vehicle repair sign, take shop and take your car to the shop anywhere you want. Don't let State Farm and, and Geico and Geico. everybody talk about you got to go to the State Farm certified shop or you got to go to this Geico certified shop. You just. Go wherever you want to go, man. I recommend going to see my girlfriends, George and George Jr. Swirtle at 200 Blydenburg Road in Islandia. That's Swirtle's Auto Body Incorporated. You check them out. You tell them you heard about them. Leality TV. Shout out also to uh, Project Nine Line. Project Nine Line. Project in Nine Line. The fucking building. Project Nine Line. Uh, helping veterans reintegrate through the arts and entrepreneurship. Yes. You know, one step at a time. One, one team, time. one fight. Word. I like that. One that team, one fight. That's, that's, uh, that's Pat good. Donahue's saying. I, I like that. That's pretty good. All right. So what's our uh, pick of the week? Pick of the week. Um, wait, wait. Um, behind the scenes, websites, all that junk, Facebook pages, creatingmediasolutions.com. Heard, tell them you heard about us on Leality TV with the $100 website specials. Bang. All right. Now we can move on. Um, pick of the week. Um, our POW. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so next week I'll have some fresh stuff for you But I'm, I, I'm really vibing off this jam still uh, This is track 7 Off of LA's album Called Planet X uh, Planet X what, um, Light of the Night is the name of the album And what's the name of the song bro? Peace of Mind, and it's like da 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 da. This one's like it's uh, a, you a, do a horrible impersonation of a beat. No, watch it's like da 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 da. And then and then when we come back, we'll have uh, Patrick Donahue with us. Stick so, around uh, for P Donahue. Check out the uh, check out the jams, and we'll be right back. Mr. Anon. Anon. Cool. He's a, oh, he's a fan. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. It yeah, just it never just ends. ends. High stakes, payments late, rent increase on studio space No debate, I can't create, no peace of mind to celebrate Lost for time, can't unwind, gotta get myself out of this bind Push through, till I find, till I get some peace of my soul What I got to do to get some peace of mind What I got to do to make my bills on time What I got to do to not commit a crime What I got to do to keep my girl in line do to maintain my life What I got to do to keep myself alive What I got to do to just unwind What I got to do to get some peace of mind Some words. I mean, like, who's running things? Crooks 
and the government police looking militant. The president ain't what he is, but they all look like they're doing good. Can't stop, keep the grind, force my way ahead at line. Fly straight, keep the faith until I reach a high state. Now, what I got to do to keep some peace of mind? What I got to do to pay my bills on time? What I got to do to not commit a crime? What I got to do to keep my girl in line? What I got to do to maintain my high? What I got to do to keep myself alive? What I got to do to trust unwind? What I got to do to get some peace of mind? <laughs> what up what up <laughs> i love the acrobatics over the pa man that was dope oh that man was. i'm pretty you know <laughs> i've gained a lot of weight in my day but i could jump over a speaker a little bit uh i'm kind of out of man. breath though <laughs> Mr. my uh, my, my chat i don't know i don't know why my chat thing's not working on the um on the thing i'll have to figure that out i'm not very technologically advanced but i appreciate you guys checking in and it and uh awesomeness look <laughs> that looked so funny i saw it over here in the um in the screen <laughs> but uh oh wait pat you're supposed to be over here uh. oh everybody welcome mr pat, pat john Bonnie here you. ladies and gentlemen thanks for coming by my bro my pleasure have Thank a you. seat join us join us join us nice. this is like the fourth time i've tried to get him on the show we finally got him and uh welcome welcome to reality man uh why don't you uh look in the camera right there tell the people at home who you are where you're from what do you do uh my name is patrick donahue uh it's an honor to be here on the gallery tv Due to some scheduling conflicts. The G is I, silent. I've been unable. The G is silent. I've been unable to make it. Now I've been freed up. So I'm here. I'm happy about that. Uh, yes. I'm with Project Nine Line. We Yay. Have, yes. Brian is also with Project Nine Line. Uh, these guys are doing a lot of joking tonight. That's really cool. But Project Nine is very serious. Uh, yeah, it is a serious show. Uh, it is. Uh, we empower veterans with reintegration through the arts. And entrepreneurship is our mission statement, and it's nine words. It's right with our name. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's really, yeah. really cool. I uh, I attended one of your events that um, Brian helped out with with the uh, the comedy in the VFW uh, in in March. You I remember you you did a really great job, man. You tore it down up there. Well, yeah, that was a awesome event. Uh, we have a comedy program that Brian actually heads. Uh, he taught veterans how to do stand-up comedy, me being one of them. We started with 12 veterans in the class and seven graduated. Two females, five males, and then we performed to a sellout crowd. Yeah, oh, the thing was standing room only, yes. man. Packed Mr. to the max. Mr. Lee West was there filming in the building. I was. Brian Cateo was the MC. Mm -hmm. I was just a comic that night. It was pretty cool. What was uh? What just was your comic? Just a comic. <laughs> what was just a comic. What was your what favorite joke? <laughs> what, what was your favorite joke that you had? What was the one that you thought hit the hardest or you enjoyed saying the most? Well, I enjoyed making fun of the VA. Uh, I had to leave out a joke because it was like kind of. Uh, I had two capacities. You know, not only right. was I a stand-up comedy that com comedian that night, but I was also the president of Project Nine Line. So I had to leave out a joke. Next time it's coming out though, for sure. In a club or something, you could pull it out. You're not gonna use that yeah, one in front of all your. Not in that room. It, yeah, wasn't, no, it wasn't ready. You need to adjust your um, act the accordingly. The you know. No, no, no. I did the VA joke. I told that one. That one was fair. That crowd liked that joke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why don't you go ahead? Tell uh, tell the joke. Tell us what the joke is. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna wait. You gotta come see us to see that. To oh see that shit! Joke. Oh, oh, putting it on reserve. Put it on reserve. Oh, what we do sometimes is what we do is a uh, a comedy workshop. I will. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do a skit, little skit I got. Like I, I like me and Brian. We 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 try to like. You know, help each other out for about five, seven minutes with a couple of things that we might have flustering that we may, may, if it's nothing, you may, bro, that's you got nothing there. Yeah, yeah. You know, but if it's something, it'll be like it's a it's a little bit of an on air comedy workshop. I love that. Yeah, it's I a love little, that. Uh, live, you know. I've been waiting to work on some game with with Brian lately, actually, because I have a, I have a little bit of an act skit that's pretty funny. I haven't honed it yet, though. In time now, our next comedy show is October tenth. I just started yesterday, a Wednesday, open mic comedy workshop. At my home. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I have a stage. I got the whole nine yards. We're all set up. Trannies? Um, 
I got a transfer case. <laughs> 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 Sounds fun. <laughs> hey, well, we can always. It's the only open mic list. with a hot tub. Yeah. You know, so um, if you want to come through, you're more than welcome. Uh, anybody else, you know, whatever. It's cool. open to everybody. And, and, you know, I have my gun. Anal? I, and, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I heard. Anal? Anal for everybody. I'm, I'm down. I'm really there. Awesome. Not in the tub, man. You for bring some the trannies, and I'll bring the for anal. Some reason, that's the one magic work. word. Come to my house. Anal. <laughs> 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 so it's gonna be packed. Mr. Mr. West's right house is gonna be packed, lying around the door, like <laughs> that, like that movie. On y'all. That big party. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious! You guys are fucking me up. Well, we uh, we we're coming to my comedy workshop, and and it'll be cool, man. I will. I need that. Yeah, I need that. And uh, cause a lot of these places, you know, they you, uh, let's be fa- let's face it, like com- comics don't have any money. No, they have no money. Just look at the, where he lives. Come on. I yeah, there. Gonna I'll see it. <laughs> you're gonna check it out. But <laughs> I'll sh- I, I don't got much in this world, but I'll share it, man. That's you awesome. know what I mean? And that's that's so what I do. Dude. And uh, but he <laughs> fucked me all up. <laughs> 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 oh shit! All right. Well, so I, mean, anyway, I, mean, I want to plug something. I'm really plug, it, plug, plug it away. Plug we it got it. a huge plug event coming up. Huge it's event! All Brian's been doing is talking about it. It's the world's only veterans music festival, and what I mean by that, it's where the veterans actually perform. We have 26 acts signed on that have a veteran in them. Uh, maybe 25 that actually have a veteran in them. Why don't you use the big one? All genres, because that would be smart. And, and, and that's there what you go, vet stop. All genres of music will be represented on multiple stages <laughs> all day, <laughs> all night. Yeah. And uh, you could buy your tickets Much on project9line.org. They're only $30 till September 13th, and they go up. Uh, the date for the concert is September 19th at Connolly Station in Bayshore. Uh, ticket Fourth price. Day, right by the train station. Yeah, man. right by the train station. Bay Shore train station. Yeah, where you want to be at. Ticket price includes food all day, all night. It's the best deal of the summer. If you're not there, that's you're bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what I'd like to do, what we always like to do, um, here on Reality TV, is we actually get to know the guest on more of a personal level. We understand where everything comes from. Anal. So, anal. Yeah, you know, <laughs> anal we we do, but that's off the cameras. <laughs> um. <laughs> But, you know, why don't you tell people who don't really know that much about Project Nine Line, that much about how it started, where it came about, why don't you tell us how you created this idea and what what you thought w- it was going to be and where it is now to what your original idea was? Wow. That's a, that's a big question. Well, uh, Project Nine Line came to me out of uh, a need that needed to be filled amongst my brothers and sisters in arms. And, um, you know, there's a lot of great help available out there for our returning veterans. And there's a lot of turmoil we go through upon coming home. And I only know that from my own personal experience. And, um, you know, I was not well when I returned home. And I was able to seek help and uh, get over the hurdles and the trials and tribulations of of reacclimating back to being a civilian. And uh, I wanted to give back and help others that were in a similar situation as me. And um, I really did a lot of soul searching and research on what's out there, what's missing, and what's needed. And, um, you know, not being a real artist, per se, myself, I just see the value in the arts in terms of communicating your stories uh, or just day-to-day stuff. And entrepreneurship is really what I want to bring to it. So by combining the two, we really have an innovative concept that's really helping a lot of guys and girls, and it's being very much well accepted by the community. And uh, I met Brian Katea not far after when uh, I founded it. Give me this one. Oh, this one's way better than mine. They <laughs> fucked me, but so sure enough, uh, Thanksgiving dinner, 2013, eating with my mother. Speaking about this, I created like a, a PowerPoint and like a pitched her, right? Because I need a business it. plan, man. Yeah, I pitched her right at dinner. She sold her. Uh, we got the website that night. So Project Nine Line was born uh, on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, literally. We called GoDaddy. They were there. Like a, tur- like a turkey Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It just came. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey Jesus. Shout out uh, people at Periscope, man. We love y'all. So uh, then I've met Brian Katea a few months oh, later. Call. Uh, caller, please lower your computer volume. 
please lower your computer volume. We appreciate every, each and every one of you calling in. We're very much encouraging. Leality TV, you're on the air. Leality TV, you're on the air. Hello, caller. Who is this? Who's this? Are we getting butt dialed again? Remember that time we got butt dialed? Oh, yeah. For the DMX tickets? <laughs> Somebody yeah. dialed us at their... Yeah, All right. Well, we love you Thanks anyway. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. All right. Con continue. I apologize about that rude interruption. <laughs> 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 yeah. How y'all going to call? I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Varmint. God, <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Rooting, tooting, non talking, calling in then. You stay away from Lee Alley TV. You heard? <laughs> you heard? No, keep watching. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, there was a need. We've tried to fill the void. Uh, what are guys and girls going to do once they seek the help or, or get help? Or maybe they didn't even need any initial help, but how do they stay grounded and get well and stay well? And that's us, you know. Um, we are trying to fulfill the, the the need for purpose and a mission in life because we come home from from combat, and uh, you know nothing really gives you an adrenaline rush like that. And oh I'll, shit, I never thought of it like that. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to come home and have bills and fucking people in Walmart being yeah, fucking it's terrible. <laughs> It's hard, right? It's really, really hard complaining about shit. I got my friends are in foxholes right now. Right. You, know, you know what I mean? Uh, so it's tough. There's a lot of components that, that really uh, play a huge role into this all. And uh, we are trying to address um, reaching, opening up communication paths, and ultimately finding purpose to fight on another day. Because my brothers and sisters are killing themselves at an alarming rate and that was the real motivation those numbers were ridiculous <laughs> Sorry. No, it's a, they're insane it's yeah. insane i've lost Give family egg, i've lost egg. friends uh you know just like in the fir first week of coming home my unit we lost i don't even know how many dude it's sad it's terrible i mean uh we we just recently had um your 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 good friends from um bees well on uh with with operation jake and and she was explaining her story with that with with jake you know and and it's just it's uh, terrible, terrible, yeah, terrible. These terrible. well foundation are pretty good people. Yeah, yeah. Ron and 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 uh, Shannon, shout out to them, man. Crazy. Man. Yeah, they saw a need and they're feeling it too. Yeah, Powers to them. Yeah, Big up to them. You for know, real. And uh, man, it's it's terrible. I could never imagine, um, you know, uh, being in, inside of your head and inside of what you know you need to deal with in your life. But what I do want to extend to you is my appreciation. For everything that you do for our country, because if, if it wasn't for men and women like you, I couldn't sit here and do this. I couldn't be here with Brian right now talking shit. This, you know, <laughs> everything <laughs> I, Fact. everything yeah, I yeah. do, I give thanks to you guys for thanks. doing what you do because I really like what I do. Thanks so much. You know, and it's, that's um. And you know what the fact is, we like what we do too in that respect, right? We like it so much. I reenlisted last year. I was out for a few years. I'm a soldier again, right? You know oh I mean? shit! I'm in the army right now. Okay. You know, fact. Well, shout and, out to you, man. So we respect and love what you do, and that's why we fight. <laughs> yeah, know? word. Whether I don't like or like what you're saying, I fight for your right to say it. I'm saying it very, exactly. Yeah, very simple. Yo, shouts to you, man. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, um. Let's bring it back up a beat. Let's bring it See, back up. When I uh, good I stuff, Mister Pat and and trannies. Oh wait, I, I love you. Bro. Here, go ahead. You got uh, it. Hug it out. Man I read what's on, anyway yeah. to bring the camera in. Have to pick is empty couch. No, we leave the camera there. Um and trannies. Yeah, I do trannies. Things uh oh, here we go. Friends. Real caller this time. I got it's, my fingers it's crossed. It's probably Anno eighty nine oh three. Caller, please lower your computer volume. Please lower your computer volume. We appreciate your call. You're live on the air, Leality TV. Who's this? Hey, how you doing? We're great, uh, thanks. My name's Alan Matthews. Uh -huh. uh, I'm say, hey, what's up? Congratulations, Pat. Hey, what's up, you Alan? Stand-up job. Pat's doing great, And, man. you know, listen, don't dwell on all the people that you lost, but think about all the people that you're going to help and that we'll be able to get through because of what Project Nyline is doing. Yes. Alan Matthews on the phone right now. He's actually a veteran himself. He is. Awesome. Army veteran. He's a friend of ours. Yeah. Excellent. Hey, Alan, also, thank you for your service as well, man. Each and every one of y'all. That's great, man. So we're going to see you at Vetstock. 
Oh, we love you, Alan. If you can't hear us anymore, we can't hear you. We heard it. Up, but thank you, like, thank you for thank calling you, Alan, in, Alan. Alan. And I, man, kid. I, 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 let's just get one thing straight too. I'm here getting a lot of credit. I have a great team. Brian is a huge part of that. I also have another seven people on our board. There's nine of us total, and we have tons of volunteers that have helped out numerous times, and we have tons of supporters that come out and support all of the events, and we have a lot of veterans that are very happy about that, and I am one of them, so thank you. Awesome. Awesome, man. You're a good dude, Pat. If I just could uh, talk about it, just a little bit about my aspect. of I, I met Pat Donahue. He had this idea. Of Project Nine Line, and, and you know, obviously, I didn't serve, and I wanted to help him achieve his goal, and I, I saw the potential with with me, what I could do with with doing comedy, which yeah. I, I've known Lee actually longer than I, I've known Pat, but me and Pat have grown so close. Yeah. Over the uh, the time that you know, like I I knew I'm jealous of the bromance. To be honest, yeah. I was I was Brian's buddy. Pat <laughs> Pat got that shit on lock, you know. But. Uh, <laughs> But um, it, it's uh, you know, it, it's something that like he he had this idea he wanted to help through the arts and he wanted and like I wanted to bring the comedy aspect to it and I you know it was just a shoot for it just to you know what what let's see what could happen and like we we did that show in Jan we we had a workshop in January and those people those seven people I've w done at least two or three comedy workshops where I was the student and. Like every every time, you know, the person gets paid, to, you know, to right. to teach you. So, right. so they're doing it for the money. They're not doing it, you know. When you come to our workshops, we're actually there. To, I I'm there to help you. Like that's and there was we're seven feeding you and everything. Else. You, your mom was making dinner for these guys, and I, I remember I was there. Man. Yeah, we, we we got food for every time, and like these seven veterans that graduated, like they just saw how much love Project Nine Line had, and. Uh, and it, it it really hit me to to see how involved they still are, and the comedy show is in March, and there's going to be another show in October featuring the same veterans that graduated from the the course. We're going to have another course in January. If you're a veteran that's listening and you're interested, contact me. Alan Matthews. Alan Matthews. Alan Matthews. You know, con you're in. E email me b c u t a i a b c u t a i a at Project Nine Line dot com. Yo, no one else can. Don't spell you think that he shit. should spell it differently? No one else can spell that shit. Yo. I think he should spell it differently. I just make yeah. it easier. Got it. Still sound like Brian. Hey, yeah. Let's change it to Brian. 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 Brian at Project. Yeah. B C. No one's finding him that B. way. B C. Because he'd be like big cock. B C. But nine uh, lines. It, it, it's something you know. They, this organization, you know, I I see what Pat's dream it was and is, and now it's became ours and the board members and all together I, I feel like everybody is really pulling through to make this organization a huge success to what it is right now awesome Boy. you guys are working hard and making crazy. a lot of moves <coughs> and it doesn't go unnoticed man we see what you're doing out there and and i you know as you as you well know i'm willing to do anything i want uh, anything you want for me to help you all out <laughs> help you all out so i'm hoping to uh maybe bring a camera crew or something um to the uh, vet stock and and we could get some real footage and oh. and some uh, little one on ones and stuff like that. That's uh, yeah, it's, it's that sounds good. good. You dudes are really funny, actually. I'm I'm really uh, enjoying being here. So we're gonna do a little comedy stuff because I oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah comedy stuff. Just do All right, yeah, this, let's do this looks like a real life story, so it's kind of easy for me to do. I don't really, I haven't really practiced it, but it, it really happens, so it's kind of huh. it's kind of easy. So picture this, right? I'm in basic training. I'm a 27-year-old man. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, every day, I'm going to go home, and everyone thinks I'm not going to make it, so I'm not quitting. It's a fucking constant battle, right? And uh, sure enough, I can't fucking stand still for a second, right? And, um, you know, my drill sergeant noticed that I couldn't do that, right? So, uh, you know, a few times a day, we have to stand fucking at attention, and you can't move. Right, not <laughs> you can't even move your eyes, right? Um, so sure enough, early on, you know, I was the fucking, I was the the guy that he yelled at every time, and he made me do push-ups, right? So fucking like week three, week four, I'm pumping out like fucking more push-ups than my whole fucking platoon combined, right? And that's just in formation. Forget about our workout sessions, right? <laughs> so now I started thinking, I'm like, yo, how am I gonna beat this guy, right? So sure enough, I'm like, I, I got it. I came to me, right? I'm like, I, as soon as I see him next time, I'm just going to start pushing, right? So that way, 
he's going to be mad that he didn't tell me to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I do it, right? And I push. And I do it one, two days, right? And then finally... He comes on day three, right? And I'm down pushing. He comes up to the formation and he gets fucking real pissed off. He's not able to yell at me, right? Donnie, you get up, right? So, boom, I'm up. Back in attention. Never made me do push ups again, right? <laughs> <laughs> I beat him. I just do him. Uh, that's a I, I beat him, right? If you're looking, Sergeant, whatever the fuck your name is, <laughs> I won. Fuck that nigga. I won. Week four, you know, you had at least six more weeks of making me push. Nuh uh, not this guy. Yeah. Thank you. See, comedy workshop sense now. Comedy workshop sense. I know Patrick Donahue, so I know his his uh, childhood that he was not able to sit still throughout all of childhood. He had ADD. He wasn't even able to sit still in the classroom. So now, what you should do is talk about that first. Be like, I can't, I couldn't Lead talk up. about this. Yeah. And then also now I, I'm standing in a line. They're supposed to make me stand still. Yeah. Like, you know? well, oh, I, I think I had a lead up to it, actually. You know, because like uh, the Colombian government has a hit out on my life right now. There's awesome. a price on my head, right? You know, the whole country is starving. And so go on TV. That's, that's great. They're not, they're not going to buy me. You know why they're mad? You know why that is, right? Because I put cocaine out of business. They figured out how to bottle up my energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this fucking> <laughs> cocaine is done. There are people out there snorting Donahue and shit, yo. <laughs> that, that is uh, that thing you go with. Yo, get 50 that. bags of Donahue and shit, right? <laughs> 50 <laughs> bags of Donahue. Yo, call up. Yo, 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 I got that Donnie, yeah. son. Yo, I got that Donnie. Yo, what up? Yo, 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 Donnie. You little pimp. Oh, <laughs> oh please, man. I was Crack weed Donnie. The whole country starving, dude. Crack weed Donnie. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Chop party. You a fucking shot, bro. That, that was funny. You, you, you should see. You, should you really had me going, man. You're know, like fucking young in my life. <laughs> he has potential. He has. I like he, it. He's gonna be an awesome comic if you just. Oh, shit. You you I are an awesome comic. Died. My my computer's not plugged in somehow. But whatever. I just gotta work on like remembering my jokes. That's my problem. I you know due to some things I may or may not have done in my teenage years, my brain doesn't really function that well. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Because I forgot what we were saying. Like too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know like too many sugar cookies? I don't know. What's <laughs> Bugger cookies. Antimins? <laughs> you got a joke? Uh, jokes, what do I got? I, I don't a got quick any. quick one. Um, jokes, I, I, think the, I think the government is trying to hide aliens. That's my... Of course. That's my, 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 like, I, I really think that, you know, because if aliens existed... You know, and people realize they're like, "Holy shit, there's another you know life form." All of a sudden, mm-hmm. religion is thrown out the window. People are gonna go crazy. Absolutely. And they you know they <laughs> need religion to keep people in they check. They need religion. So if aliens existed, it would throw religion out the window because they're all of a sudden you know God created other life well, forms. You, you remember that flashy thing from Men in Black? Yes. Yeah. If that really existed, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't because know. they just flashy thing does. The Catholic Church put out something in like 2008 that said if aliens were to come, like they admitted that it's possible, like they know something's going on. The government is aliens, not, <laughs> not, not hiding them. We are aliens. Yeah. We, I yeah. definitely think you got something to work with. That. I, I got something trying to work with that. I need to develop punchlines, but I'm trying to do something with that. I'm going to be at the uh, Maguire's on the uh, 25th. And also, I'm gonna be uh, doing a felt billiards on the fourth, which uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. Yeah, you're headlining, and um, so I'm taking a bunch. I'm like recycling my old jokes and just taking pieces from other bits and trying to make one bit of like stuff I think is pretty decent from each of those bits. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm yeah. Taking the highlights and trying to smush them together because basically all I talk about is the same shit over and over. <laughs> so each bit will work accordingly. But um, uh, I'm adding something to the um, with the with the phone, right? okay. And so it goes. Um, so you know you're getting old when uh, when it when the chicks you trying to holler at start calling you things like sir and Mister and are you my dad's friend? <laughs> So I, 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 I don't know. I think I'm gonna work with that. I'm gonna throw that in there. I, I think that would work. Uh, Yo, you're going green with your comedy, huh? Recycling? That, yeah. That's <laughs> it's a going green show, yo. This is good for the environment. Yeah, that's he's killing it, yo. <laughs> I went green before the show. I'm gonna all, the, <laughs> all the vegan chicks love Mr. West. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken I'm talking is a vegetarian. It's hilarious. <laughs> There's no chicken they in They don't that. eat meat. <laughs> There's no beef Damn in that it. joke. <laughs> he drops it just like anal. Anal. <laughs> anal. <laughs> anal, mic drop. All right, 850. Um... Oh, can I get my um, uh, what's hot? 
All right, so we're doing this new segment, uh, Leality TV. We're, uh, we're we're talking about what's hot, what goes on this very weekend. Uh, with uh, like, uh, sizzle, sizzle. I need sizzle. like I need a flex bomb. <laughs> Like the atom bomb. So uh, tonight, definitely check it out. Uh, off Key Tiki every Thursday. You go over there. You see Patty Dodge and the Dodge Dolls. Um, after that, about 10 p.m., uh, Patty Dodge and the Dodge Dolls will be at the um, Diamond Club in Ronkonkoma by the train station. They uh, they got a hip hop show going on tonight. Um, DJ something or other featuring um, MC something something and. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is great. This is great. I definitely anyway, want to go now. I just <laughs> found out. I just found out. There. I just got. I just got. But definitely the. Uh, so there. <laughs> I'm going I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, you should go there after this. And um, whatever. I don't know. Go to the Oki Tiki. All right. Uh, the things I want to shout out. We have the uh, Vet Stock Conley Station. That's yes. be, that's getting really fucking hot right now. Yes. Vet Stock Conley Station, September nineteenth. It's a September Saturday. 19th. Awesome. So uh, from three uh, three p.m. all night. We're gonna have a pretty pack September. Pretty pack September. We, we There's got, the Suffolk uh, County Marathon coming up. What what day is that? That's September third. You are not running a marathon. I am not running. Do <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be waving to the runners. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the I'm marathon, the guy in the golf cart. Marathons uh, focused all for veterans. Excellent. And uh, we're, we're going to have a stage in that. And then we have Vetstock September 19th. And then another thing is the uh, October 10th. It's the comedy show featuring all the veterans right, who graduated. Let's get September. Let's get through September for it. I know, but I'm going to promote October right, Comedy right, you Show. Can push it. You can push it's going to be News 12. News 12. Oh, that's, uh, News 12 right. will News be 12. there at that News show. 12. So if you want to be on News 12, you better come to our comedy show. It's going to be at the Hardigan, like I'm um, gonna pass that. Hardigan Manor in Bethpage, Hardigan. October 10th. Can I get a ride? Yeah, you can get a ride. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're going green. No they're joke. Going green. Going green. green. Carpool, carpool and recycled jokes. Vegan chicks. Game on. Yeah, yeah word. That's do, you have, do you have anything to say that's on? Well, I already mean, said whatever I had to say I'm, about us. I mean, September 4th, we're going to be at the pool hall. Fell billiard, 6133 Jericho Turnpike, Comac. September, uh, September 25th, I'll be at McGuire's. Doing that thing in there. Everybody see what that. Are, what are we doing? Funny. What are we doing on the fourth? What are we doing on the fourth? Felt billiards. Fourth, fourth is felt billiards. You want a spot? There? Comedy. 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 I'm, Comedy. In. I'm coming. All right. I'll it's let, a Friday. I'll give a spot. I'll give a spot. Yeah, you got a spot. All right. All right. All right cool. Nice. Featuring Patrick Donahue. So what? anybody want to come to Felt Billiards on uh, September fourth? I can't do it. We'll have uh, Patrick you know, Donahue you know, and also Brian Katea, myself as the host. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to getting back in there. I don't do the summers in there because in the summer on my Fridays I want to do something else. Comedy is kind of dead in the summer. Comedy sucks in the summer for Suffolk County. In the winter so. it blows up because you want to get out of the cold. And that's it, guys. It's me. I'm Mr. Lee West. It's each and every Thursday. Right here at Leality TV. Couldn't do it without Brian Katea, my brother, Patrick Donahue. None of us could do anything we do if it wasn't for you guys. It's Leality TV, StrongIsland.com, MrLeeWest.com, Project9Line.org. It's your boy. Catch me out. Miss y'all. See you on YouTube. Bye.